Mananatiling neutral sa mga usapin tungkol sa agawan sa teritoryo sa South China Sea o West Philippine Sea ang Estados Unidos. Gayunman, sinabi ni U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry na maninindigan sila sa pag-iit ng pagrespeto sa freedom of navigation. That the United States does not, we are not a claimant. And the United States does not take a position on the competing sovereignty claims to the land features of the South China Sea. But we do take a strong position on protecting the rights, the freedoms, and the lawful uses of air and sea space as defined by international law. We take a strong position in support of the rule of law. We have made clear that the decision of the arbitral tribunal convened under the UN Law of the Sea Convention is legally binding and that we expect that the parties should comply with their obligations under law. Now the rights of all countries under law should always be respected. Si Kerry ay nasa Pilipinas at nakipagkita kay Foreign Affairs Secretary Perfecto Yasay kanina umaga para naman sa isang bilateral talks. Matapos ang pag-uusap ng dalawang opisyal, pinuri ni Kerry ang Pilipinas sa ani niya ay very responsible and measured way na pagtugon sa pasya ng permanent court of arbitration sa territorial dispute. In our meeting today, I told the Foreign Secretary that we appreciate the very responsible and measured way that the Philippine government has responded to the decision. That's been important. Ayon pa kay Kerry, hindi maaaring baliwalain ng China o ng anumang partido ang ruling ng Permanent Court of Arbitration sa West Philippine Sea. Ani Kerry, legally binding at naaayon sa international law ang pasya ng arbitral court. Muli namang nanawagan si Kerry sa China, Pilipinas at iba pang claimants na iwasan na ang mga hakbang na makapagpapalala pa ng tensyon sa West Philippine Sea at sa halip ay magbigay daan para sa negosasyon. In all my meetings in Vientiane, including with Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi, there was a consistent focus expressed by everybody, including the Chinese Foreign Minister, to turn the page on the past confrontations. And looking ahead, we hope and see a real opportunity for claimants to work together to constructively, peacefully manage and ultimately resolve their differences consistent with international law. Sinabi ni Kerry na maliban sa South China Sea issue, may mas malawak pag-agenda ang pagbisita niya sa Pilipinas gaya na lamang ng pagtalakay sa kung paano masusugpo ang violent extremism, paglaban sa transnational crime, human trafficking at pagtugon sa kalamidad. Erwin Aguilon, Radio Inquirer 990, bayang nagtatanong, mamamayang nag-uusisa.